So the other day I did this video about doing the automation in a transition, a build up. So doing like a long reverb with some send level to create this real intense kind of vibe and tension. And I had some people saying to me, uh, why has Cubase not got curved automation? And actually it has, it's had it for a long time, but I'm not sure everybody knows where to find it these days. So on this video, I'm gonna show you. Just gonna find the point where we've got the automation coming up. I was being a bit lazy the other day. You know, I did say that I knew where it was, but I just couldn't be bothered to set it up at that time. I wanted to focus on other elements. So you can see actually up here, this icon that I've got selected, the parabola. Um, originally that it was the uh, the line so if I drop this down I'll show you what we do let's take a section here where we want to do a curve let's drag it up can you see the curve there now you're gonna say to me immediately Danny what are you doing man that's not a proper curve and you know at the end of the day you'd be fair in saying that but this is the difference right so if you come up over to the the top section here the open automation panel let's open it up this used to be one of the preferences um, on the, the Cubase preferences area at the top here. So what it is, it's been put into this section and it's the reduction level. This is like a, a parameter that was set up back in the day when the computer struggled with lots of automation detail. The more nodes you have, the more it would struggle in the past. So there's a reduction level, 50%. This ties in here. So let me show you what happens. If we reduce this, we'll take it to zero, the same curve applied just gonna come over here let me take this off for a moment and um, let's curve it up let's roll it up there we go so it's curved it's put nodes in to create that curve all right and I'm gonna show you here just whilst we're here you could use some of the others um, the sign for example get some kind of mad modulation stuff going in there like an LFO and um, you know I just wanted to um, you know jump in there and do this little video because you know you can do this curve you can do it it's there so let's just come back and see how that sounds so we've got the sense here the reverb and the delay Coming up with a nice curve now. So maybe, uh, I'll tell you what, let me just shut up. Because some of you may not have seen the other video. So look, that's the thing. And um, yeah, it's not quite smooth looking as uh, perhaps some of you would like, but I imagine that uh, you're not gonna hear the difference there. And potentially Steinberg might come up with an update that looks a little bit more like what you'd expect to see inside Logic and inside Ableton as well. They both got that curve thing now. And um, this does the same thing, all right? So at least there's that's the option to, um, to do that for you there. All right, so uh, that's it, really. Just wanted to do an extra little video and um, just get in there, adjust that parameter, reduce the amount of percentage reduction, and then you're gonna get much more detail we need to do automation.